Okay, I have 100 individually addressable LEDs. There's two chains of 50 here. They're driven off of an Arduino. You can just kind of see that at the top middle beside my laptop with a little power brick that runs. It takes a couple of amps with all the LEDs on at full brightness. Um, I get them wrapped around the tree now. The Arduino board there actually controls the, the LED sequences and I've got a pot on it and I can turn the pot up and down to change the flash rate. What it's doing is it's generating a, a sign table. It's fading between red and green and uh, Hello Estelle There we are with the, uh, with the with them wrapped around like that you kind of lose the, the chase effect a wee bit but there's uh, there's a thing we can do to solve that what is it? do you know what it is? ok no you don't know what it is so there we go one sequenced Christmas tree with the star on the top. Time to get the other decorations on now. You can edit the program running on the Arduino to uh, change the number of colour bands that are uh, drawn up the tree, up the string of lights. And uh, that's it set to uh, 32 colour bands. So you can see that the uh, the the the, the um, LEDs are uh, they're kind of going in short pulses of red and green. We can change that. It's maybe not the most intuitive, but uh, by editing the code, let's change that to uh, to no, let's make it four four color bands. So it's going to be two red and two green. I use uh, Arscons to uh, upload the code. You notice that while it's uploading, the LEDs go uh, pure white. Well, the top LEDs look a bit pink. You see the bands are a bit bigger there. That's running at the same speed as previously. Um, it's just the, a wider spacing between the, the colour bands. Okay, here what's happening is the uh, I've got the LEDs chasing around as the sign changes phase, but what it's also doing is it's changing slowly the uh, number of colour bands on the tree. So you can see they're quite quick there. It appears to be speeding up and slowing down, but what's actually happening is it's cramming more colour bars in. So you can see at that point it's nearly all green shades to red, and then you can see there's more bands moving down. Yeah, I quite like that. That's a lot of fun. And uh, obviously you've seen it all uncoiled. Um, there's miles of it. I don't think it would uh, take its own weight very well if you tried to stretch it across the garden, but uh, it, uh, it does look pretty good.